Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to RimWorld. So before we get started, a couple mechanical bits and pieces here. So, the biome features do not seem to be working. In particular, this biome is supposed to have this really common spore cloud thing that's like sort of an ultra-aggressive fallout, and it just doesn't work. I spun up a standalone colony with only this mod, and boxed some colonists into a roofless base for like, months. And they just kind of sat there and bathed in the spores, so that's... weird. And I don't know why it doesn't work. And it also didn't work on my standalone beta 19 instance, so I don't really know what's going on there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just thought it would have been fun to have that little bit of extra challenge. It's not like Cassie and Merciless is boring, but I'm just a little disappointed. I might have picked a biome that wasn't quite so purple. I don't know. But anyway, we'll kind of address that as it goes. So, yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so we're getting some things rebuilt here. We need to actually go get some components now. Did we use up all of our regular components? Oh my god, I think we did. Ugh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Or did they just run out? Both of those could have happened. Also, I have, like, heat venting into all kinds of weird places here. You know, I'm gonna do something dumb, like put in some vents here, because I think it's funny. Uh, just to make this area a little cooler. And... do I just not have any place to put stuff? Maybe that's the problem. There, see if that helps. Alright, and you guys are all beat up. Uh, you have not yet been treated. Is that because nobody likes you? Um, Epsilon, right? Does Epsilon just not like you? Playing chess? Instead of like this whole 11 hour to death thing? Hmm. Alright. That really does start to sound like he just doesn't like you. So anyway. Enough of that. So, yes. Build my stupid vent so it's not quite so hot in here. Yeah, see, the spore event should be really, really unpleasant. They should be getting this, like, big, fast buildup. So, I don't know. Like I said, disappointing, but not all that terribly important. Okay, so we're still working on Lyra. What else should we do in the meantime? I guess let's get some more components going here. can't believe... Do we really use up all of our components? Huh. Okay. Well, oh well. Let's go ahead and let's mine some more. For some reason, I thought that we had more sitting around, but I guess I'm wrong. That happens a lot, unfortunately. We actually shouldn't delay component assembly too long, either. Yeah, we will run out. There's not a bad stash around here. But, it's definitely something I'll have to think about. Okay. Well, in the meantime, our food is still going fine. I switched our recipe back to using both um, meat and vegetables because we're finally starting to use up some of that meat. I keep removing wildlife. I'm trying to get the right, like, balance. I want there to be a little bit of wildlife here so I can turn them into genetic monstrosities, but, I mean, I don't want it to be covered in animals. That's not the point. So, anyway, we'll try to get that nailed down. Uh, looks like potatoes are still going fine. My random potatoes, I just needed some stuff going. We still have kibble left. I don't know why the dogs aren't eating it, but that's fine. I would rather that they come and eat this stuff instead. And by this stuff, I mean the corpses. That's a much better idea. Precision rifling has started along because I want to go ahead and make some assault rifles. I hadn't decided if I was going to make some kind of intermediate weapon, but I think I decided against it. Recurve bows are actually not that bad, but I don't want to use them. They're probably better than a pistol. In fact, they're definitely better than a pistol, right? Let me check. Eh. Well, you'll have to wait for future me to put those stats up on the screen at the same time so we can all tell, because I can't tell. Alright, how are you guys doing? Yeah, see, look at this. Look at this diagonal mining. I don't know why that happens. It's so weird. I don't know if that's something specific to 1.0 or something specific to the build I have going on here, but it's very strange. Does it say your nose is shattered? Huh. I didn't know you could do that. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, but... Huh. Alright. Well, whatever. How are you guys doing temperature-wise? Uh, fine. Well... Okay then, I guess carry on. Should I have someone else work on research at night? Besides just Cantu? I could have Epsilon working on it too. But they're both working during the day. I mean, you're really good at this. 14 plus, wow. But we need that faster, so... Please labor away. Alright, thank you for getting the components. No, come back, haul it. Prioritize hauling these, I don't want them sitting outside. Thank you. I mean, I know the dogs will come do it, but... Oh well. And yes, they're all males, not females. Haha! Ha. I know what the difference is between the two genders. Haha! <laughs> uh, anyway. 
We've actually run out of good indoor flooring. Why don't you guys come haul some of this marble inside, and then we can turn that into floors. See, look at all this dirt. It's terrible. It's just awful. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's just put some floors in. It just makes me feel better. Sandstone tile? Sure. Actually, we need quite a bit of it, don't we? This place is a pet. Even by my standards. Yuck. Anyway, we'll get some of that done. Cantu, I appreciate your work. I just wish it was faster. I just don't want to waste the materials making things like shotguns and stuff, especially when we're really low on components. I suppose... Oh, wait a minute. I have microelectronics now, so I can build trade stuff. Maybe I should do that. Four components. Oof. That's a lot of components. Um... Well, we could, we could do it, I suppose. Where would I want to wedge this thing in? This base layout is terrible. I can't wait to just, like, move it all at some point. Just move the entire thing into a, an entirely different thing. Why were you recreation starved? Well, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. So where would I put a comms console? I don't know, man. What I should probably do is move the kill box here, and then kind of expand this direction. In fact, there's no reason not to just do that right now, is there? Except that we don't have any stone. Hmm, okay, so let's get some stone, and then we'll do that. It'll be fun. We'll have a great time. An eclipse? Not relevant to us at the moment. We'll let Onion finish that up, and then I'll kind of move the whole box around here. Yes, obviously I can just build bridges and stuff like that, but I don't want to. I did that last time. We need something different this time, right? Right. I decided that I don't want to redesign my base on the fly, so what I decided to do instead is just put a little zone out here just for steel, and then, then it's fine. Uh, we will need to remake these graves, so I'll just make them now. I won't make them dig corpses up until later. Thanks for moving stuff around, guys. I appreciate it. The steel doesn't mind being outside in the spores and rain and stuff. Okay, everything's going in here. Uh, pretty bad, because we ran out of stone, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel these, and then we'll start putting in marble shortly. You little guys, come on, tame Lyra. 18%. Come on. This isn't XCOM. Eventually, you have to hit an 18%. As I watch all these failed 18%s go past, I'm starting to sincerely regret not turning Lyra into slippers. I'm just saying. Just saying, that's all, you know. Someone's got to say it. Alright, anyway, let's put some marble flooring in here. Ah. Uh, foxes, man, I tell ya. I tell ya. Wait, which one of these is dirt? Wait, hold on. Smooth marble. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get carried away. Thank you. Oh, this is all smooth. Okay, never mind. There we go. Now it'll all be nice and flat inside. Ugly, but flat. Colonist idle. Oh, we can fix that. Um, how about we start replacing some walls, even if we're just using marble? That's also fine. These walls will probably be here for a while, so we can go ahead and replace these. And then we'll see about the others. Actually, we still have some wood indoors, too. We should get rid of all that. So that our base is slightly less flammable. But only slightly. Yeah, we have rather a lot of steel. If I could make assault rifles out of that, that'd be pretty great. Cantu's working hard, but... Even so. Yeah, here's another uh, Brontosaurus. I'm gonna try not to kill them. They give kind of a ridiculous... At least, um, this just a stupid, outsized bit of meat. And it just feels a little cheaty to get so much meat from one animal. So I'm not going to do it. Oh, we've dinosaurs everywhere. Look at them all. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, wait. Where's the Danicaris? Hello. Yes. Giant claws. So cool. All right. We'll try to tame some of these later when it's not like my only researcher that's also doing all of my animal stuff. Once he tames a fox... Then I'll let him try to go tame something more interesting. How about that? But not until then. Because he can't be trusted. Because of a fox. Um. Wait. Really? Uh. Cool. Okay. Um. Hi, but you're only intermediate training. That means I can't train you to haul. Um. Okay. Well, I don't really want you in my base. Um, I'm going to actually add an area called Dino. 
Okay. And we're going to set that to not be allowed inside my base because I don't want you eating my dogs or my dog's food or anything like that. Or even my corpses. Go go find your own corpses. What do you think you're doing? I'm not running a and b here. All right. How about that? That's uh, not what I expected to happen. So stay outside. I'm not even sure to name it. Um, suggestions are welcome. I've already used all my stupid names. Yay! Precision rifling. Okay. Now what? I don't know, man. See, the thing is, is I would usually have to go for component assembly. But I'm not sure I want to. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to learn genetic engineering. Yep. We may run out of components in the process, but I want genetic engineering. Um, I'm hollowing this area out because I'm going to flip this over up here maybe and then turn this into bedrooms and stuff like that. So I was just making sure that I'm not accidentally digging into bug heaven. This will give these guys something to do. Yep, see? Eh, eh, bug heaven. What did I say? It's in there somewhere. We all know that. So, yeah, just kind of mine this stuff out. Pay no mind to the dead bodies. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, never mind. Okay. Oops. Don't do that. Huh. Wandering. Egg progress. Huh. Well, at least you're gray is, so that's nice. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, to be honest. Huh. Remember how excited I was about precision rifling and then I didn't make any guns with it? Yeah, me too. Oh, that's right. I was going to make a heavy SMG. But you know what? Now we're not going to. Let's start with one assault rifle. Ah, uh, yep. And I'm going to have... Yeah, Onion can do that. That's fine. And then probably one sniper rifle. That's seven components. Oh, that's so expensive. And this is eight. Oh. I'd love to have Epsilon do it, but I can't afford the time. I need Epsilon researching. For example, I could glance at my numbers. Why is the mood here? No particular reason. It just needed a graph to move around. Because then it looks cool. You know what I mean? Anyway. Never mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I could trap Lyra in here with the with the corpses. That would be so much more convenient. Okay, um... Here, put together the fastest possible wall. Let's just say wood. Just right here. Stop whatever you're doing and come build this wall and we can trap Lyra in there with the corpses. And then she won't eat our real food. <gasps> That'll be nice. Yay! I assume she'll eat the corpses. Maybe. Oh, there's compactive machinery back here. That's convenient. Um, if I take that out, I'm going to put a wall right back in on top of it. Because that's how I roll. Because it's underneath the mountain. But we can do that. Let's do that quick. How fast can the bugs possibly spawn anyway, right? Ha ha ha. Let's find out. Here, why don't you guys take these inside, please? Thank you. Yep, there is still trapped in here. And you're still okay? Yeah, as far as I can tell. Oh my gosh, you tamed Lyra. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, at long last. Um, yes, and train obedience. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy about this. Yay! Now I don't have to turn you into slippers. Huzzah! You guys need to hurry up and mine out these components, please. And maybe not have Storch do it, because he sucks at it, but here we are. There's my dinosaur. Huh. I wonder if I have to kill things to get their DNA. I imagine so. My colonists don't seem like the type of people to be doing precision medical procedures. More like we'll just take a couple corpses, put it in a blender, and then whatever comes out, we'll use that to make something new. That kind of sounds like me, doesn't it? Okay, let's fill this area back in. Again, bugs. Dude, you're so bad at this. Whatever. At least this is a learning process for you, right? Right. Hey, and the first assault rifle is made. Yay! And let me remind myself, by glancing at this, who's my best shooter? Um, Rinnick's gonna be the one who gets it. Kratz. Yay! And then who's rocking a pistol that doesn't need to be rocking a pistol anymore? Um... Cassie, maybe? Sure. Have a bolt-action rifle. Alright, next up, sniper rifle. So far, so good. 
You know what? Let's move let's move things around a little bit. So if I wall this area off, I can use this for bedrooms and stuff like that. I could put corpses over here. Something like that. Put the door and the vent in here and move them up here instead. And then I can rotate all these rooms down here. Maybe have room to actually put in a proper table instead of a couple of wooden stools. It's not a bad idea. We're also seriously considering starving to death, but it looks like we're going to get the corn just in time. That could have been kind of exciting. But, so far so good. Yeah, I've got this big area down here that's not underneath um, any mountains, so... That should be fine. You know what? Here, this is going to bother me. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, I can't rename you? No, wait, here we go. There. I just don't want the number after your name. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was just part of animals, animals logic or not, because that's where it used to be. But that was kind of a long time ago. Okay, go ahead and build these things then. Yep, very good. And go ahead and put a roof in and stuff like that. Turn this into home zone. Only temporarily though. Um, copy settings, delete. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't bury them. Um, how do I... I need to deconstruct all three of these as fast as possible. There we go. And we need these corpses carried back inside. Well, that would have been terrible. I'd have wasted these perfectly good bodies. So tragic. But luckily, everything turned out okay at the very last moment. Can someone build this vent? That'd be kind of nice. Here, I know that you're making a sniper rifle. But why don't you come do this? Because they're being really slow. Storage kind of sucks at his job. Actually, where did those bodies go? Oh, they're out here. Well, that's not a good place for them. You're going to put them inside, right? Please. Thank you. Much appreciated. I know you don't like it, but thank you. Why? This doesn't have a roof in here yet. Guys, you're just not... You're just not helping. Alright, better. So actually, the question is... Do I cap it off like here? Or do I keep this lined up? Eh, let's, let's keep this lined up. I know it's bad, but... Oh well. And then we can take this apart. Something like that. I guess. Sort of. How's my sniper rifle coming, by the way? Ooh, getting close. We don't desperately need it at the moment, but it's going to be really nice to have it. And then part of what we're going to do over here is we're going to actually have a place to put in like a workroom and stuff. Yay! Won't that be nice? So if I have my little hovel here, we can just reinstall this and then we can give you your crummy table. We'll put that here and you can have a stool and you can have a lamp even though it's not going to have any power. Uh, just put it here. And I can go ahead and give you some walls. Why not? Won't this be a nice place? Yes, because it'll have walls. And we'll even let you escape here because otherwise you're going to starve to death and die. So if I put a hallway here, I can do something like this. Sure. Do do exactly that. Alright, now I could live dangerously. This would be an uncomfortable place to be, but what if I made some more 3x3 three three bedrooms? Yeah, we can do that. So you're smooth sandstone, so you're of no help to me. One, two, three. So right there. Ooh, this will be ugly. Um. That's okay, though. Is it? Well, no. We'll use this for something else. Never mind. Build that. Alright. Now I've got some space I feel like I can cram things in. First off, let's put in some more mismatched flooring. Everybody loves mismatched flooring. I just checked and it's true. So, we'll go ahead and we'll throw some in here and there. And we're gonna have to smooth the floor in here at some point. I can just do that for now. And Here, do, do the walls as well. Sure, that's nice. Do I put a table over here? Or do I make this more of a workshop area? Um, we could put a table and stuff over here. Oh my god, genetic engineering is done. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <gasps> genetic extraction table. A gene pod. 
Ooh. See? A pulper. I knew it. A recycler. Oh, neat. And a gene recombinator. Oh, cool. You don't want to mix frogs with other things. Life finds a way. Ha ha ha. I, I, I get that. I saw that movie. Okay. So. Our good genetic... We allow you to recover DNA from dinosaurs. <gasps> yes. Click. Yes, we're going to run out of components and die. That's just kind of the way it is sometimes. We're just not going to worry about it. Okay, anyway, trading. We need to get some trading up. Let's use some of the last of our components. We'll put a table and stuff in here. So actually, let me throw that in here right now. Um, so we'll put a nice table over here. And then we'll move all the stools around it. And maybe I'll reinstall some proper chairs. Oh, you made the sniper rifle. <gasps> So good. Did you do a good job on it, actually? I say as I'm not sure. Excellent quality. Oh my god. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Alright. And we'll need another lamp in here, too. Uh. Here. Why not? And then, let's see here. I keep forgetting that the point of this is to put in a comms console. So there's a comms console. We'll put our trade beacon over here in our terrible, terrible storage area. Which is pretty bad. There's no question about it. Oh! No, the corn's on fire! We spent so long working on this corn. Oh god. Not the corn. And a small burn, but I'm more worried about the corn. Okay, so it looks like the corn is okay. Oh, thank god. Can you even imagine? Hey, wait, what are you doing in here? Oh, you're going into the corpses. Why don't you going in there? Get, get out of here. You don't get corpses. Those are for dogs. Speaking of which, thank you for reminding me. Animal base. No. Animals. Yes. You're allowed down here, but you're not going to be allowed in there. And by in there, I mean in the prison because you'll just eat the prisoner's meals. I'm just going to keep this dedicated prison because I just assume that we're going to continuously have prisoners because it's a safe bet. Okay, go ahead and chop down some trees, guys. Let's get some more furniture made. Okay, is there anything else I want to make right away? We can make another assault rifle. We we better wait a little bit until we've got some some components. So you guys, I guess you can just have stools. You don't get real chairs, sorry. There we go. Now there's six chairs and now you'll feel better. Or I'll feel better about you, rather. Yeah, alright. I guess, I guess I can have you guys cut down more components. Yeah, that's fine. There actually aren't that many on the map. We had better consider trading here. Ooh, Triceratops. Ah, oh, cool. Hi. Neat. One of the iconic dinosaurs that even I recognize. A lot of what I know about dinosaurs came from Jurassic Park. And that movie was like 20 years ago. So, yeah. So you know how it keeps saying that like, I'm going to keep rotating the base around and I'm still just doing things at random? Well, I'm going to move the entire kitchen over here, and probably also corpse storage, because I need a place to put my laboratory. And obviously that has to be deep underground, so I need to take over this area for the lab. It would be funny to put the lab in the prison area, wouldn't it? Ooh, that has some amusing implications. Yeah, go sleep next to the pulper. And the gene sequencer. Why do you ask? No reason. Just saying. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. I like that plan. Also, I'm going to need to diversify our food a little. Ah, uh, this is not feeding six people reliably. Oh, well, that was pretty quick. Okay, neat. Um, now we'd better actually move towards fabrication, or else we're going to run into some trouble. So go ahead and start on the multi-analyzer. I've started moving everything over, as you can see here. Just waiting for someone to come build this floor segment so I can move the stove out of the way. Thank you. All right, and let's go ahead and let's fill in this wall. Still got a bunch of sandstone, right? Eh, I have some sandstone. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, obviously, move the rest of this stuff around. Put this in here. I moved my battery up, but it's still in the kitchen. Maybe thinking, Deco, why do you keep your batteries in your kitchen? Well, first of all, shut up. Second of all, I don't know. So, that's it. That's the best I can say. Wait. Really? Why do we have all these animals joining us? Exactly. Don't you think this is getting a little suspicious at this point? Okay. I mean, alright, but I don't trust you. Huh. Okay. Fine. Whatever. 
welcome, I guess. Okay. So, um, well, let's take down some of these walls here, then. Um, we should actually probably have the door, like, here. And then, like, close this off over here instead. This steel door that I didn't mean to make. Oh, that was so funny. Um. Yeah, here. Uh, uh, hold on one second here. Nah, never mind. We'll just do it like this. I don't feel like moving everything around. Okay, so just deconstruct all this. Yeah, whatever. Do something like that. Yep. And then... I should put the table over here. I can leave the prison where it is, I suppose. I mean, I guess that's alright. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's take this apart. Let's move the table over here. Um, something like that so it's not too in the way. And let's move all these over. Okay. Very good. Now, I don't need to close off my laboratory, but I kind of want to. Actually, you know what? That's that's just being silly. I probably shouldn't. Okay. Well, let's run a little more power around here quick. And then let's start putting this stuff together. Again, I don't really have any, like, components to spare for this. But that's not going to stop us. Because of course it's not. Why would it stop me? Just because it doesn't make sense. Alright. Let's do it. Genetics workbench. Genetic recombinator. Genetic extraction table. Is that what we need? This just says gene recombination workbench that produces things from pulp. So do I need all these? Probably. Oh yeah, this is... Oh no, this can't be rotated. Well, that's mildly annoying. A gene pod. Wow, that's big and also can't be rotated. This can be rotated. Okay, that's good. That just doesn't make any sense when it's rotated. Okay, so let's put some stuff in. Um, we could put a pulper in here. What's the distance on it? How much space does this need? Space already occupied. Oh, was it two by two? Ugh. Okay. Okay, hold on one moment, please. Oh, a raid. Really? Crap. Just as I'm trying to build my gene pods. All right, everybody come on inside. Is the animal base still a reasonably safe area? In short, no. So let's move that. All right, come on in here. Fine. And all you guys come on in the base area that I haven't fixed yet. Let's go ahead and let's fix that zone. All this for some raiders. All right. I don't even have any guns. Because I kind of forgot about them. And that is a big raid. Ooh. This should be exciting for not having any fixed weaponry. It said they're attacking immediately, unfortunately, and I think that means I don't have time to put up a turret. Which is too bad, because it'd be nice to have a turret, right? So, this could be exciting. You know what we could do? Well, I'm thinking of bad ideas. Because I could use the incendiary launcher. Oh, they've got one. Hmm. They're actually pretty well armed. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. In fact, I think I'm definitely going to do that because I need to get some group damage in here. Okay. Well, I don't love this plan. This is bad in so many ways. Which does, in a lot of ways, make it the best kind of plan. But here we are. Huh. Yeah, all right. Well, this should be fun. I don't know what the cool uh, uh, the wind up and cool down time is. Really, you're gonna destroy my poor door instead of just walking into the traps? Okay. Let's go ahead and start shooting. Hey, it set him on fire. If you guys wanna go ahead and shoot this guy, that'd be nice. Hey, it's working. Kinda. And that's it for my incendiary launchers. Okay. You guys are, frankly, doing kind of a bad job. Where's their guy at the incendiary launcher? He's still on fire. You guys are kind of getting your asses handed to you.
Hmm. Okay. Now they decided to flee. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't fire oil anymore. Can you melee this guy? No. Can you come melee him? Given that he's, like, killing our poor people? Okay, let's just let them go. How about we do that? How about that be our plan? How about you rescue everybody? Um, Storch, I don't care what you're doing. Why don't you rescue? And why doesn't everybody come back inside? And just leave them there to die? Or do whatever it is they're going to do? Um, our base is going to burn down, yes. Unfortunate, but true. Hopefully it starts raining at some point. Oh, Epsilon, dude, get over here. Dude, seriously. You're my doctor. Sir, oh my god. Okay. Well, so much for my only doctor. I guess, Rennick, I guess you're a doctor now. Well, this is not going to be good. Where are you? Why don't you come start tending? And someone's going to have to come rescue our idiot doctor up here before he dies. Um, Onion, maybe you should do that. And you better do it in a hurry, too. Boy, hopefully some rain starts pretty quick or else we are all going to die, aren't we? Okay, let's just leave that popped open for the moment, even though animals are going to come in here. In fact, speaking of animals, just go, go do whatever. Just go do whatever you want. I don't care. Just don't be in here. Huh. That was not my most successful raid, I'm not going to lie. Now, who's going to die first? Nine hours. Yeah, that is pretty bad. 35% per day. Not as bad. Okay. Alright. Because Epsilon is also not in a good place. Okay, so, um... Let's queue up all the tending. And then you're going to have to self-tend. And then maybe to the Onion as well. Okay, I hear things exploding. It's not good. I was really hoping that all this stuff would uh, not burn down, but... So much for our loot. And our steel is also going away now. Son of a bitch. This is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty bad. Can you come put out some fire? Oh, you guys are all restricted to the base. Right. No wonder the base is burning down. Yeah. Still a bunch of people that need treatment because you're up wandering around getting infections, but okay. Well, thank you for putting everything out. That's largely my fault. Why don't I go ahead and put you guys back on bed rest because that's why you're not resting. It's because it's me. Okay, now everybody's injured. Good, good, good. So far, so good. Things are turning out great. All our loot burned down and part of our steel. Everything's going exactly according to my plan. Epsilon, are you going to tend to people? Have you tended to yourself? No, you haven't. Medical emergency. That is pretty bad. Um, why don't you tend him first? Wait. Who needs rescue? Okay, Epsilon has now fallen over. Maybe we are all gonna die. That would actually be kind of funny, wouldn't it? I think it would be. Okay. Yeah, and you'd better come tend to Epsilon, too. I mean, everybody else is dying, too, but... No, don't feed a simple meal. Come tend. Do that instead. That's much more important. Okay, Epsilon can walk again. That's nice. I see you guys using lots of medicine. That's okay. Okay, this is exactly how I intended things to work. Okay, everyone has been tended. Okay, you're all missing a bunch of weapons. Probably because your weapons burned. Ah, uh, frustrating. I was using those weapons. Well, at least we got a pistol or two, I guess. Wow. So, looks like people are starting to get back up on their feet. I think everyone might actually survive. Wait, hold on. What did that say? Okay. That's not good. But we can live with that. You're just missing some toes. You also are missing an eye. Son of a... That's not good. 
Um, looks like none of the rest of you lost anything important. Okay, well, this has been exciting. Yeah, you can see where that raid was. Okay, well, anyway, so let's go ahead and let's take a break. This is going great. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.